Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of February. This month I am using the Arcanum Tarot deck and one card from Doring Virtue's Romance Angels. I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It is not meant for every Aries out there. If it resonates with you, that's great. Take from it what you can. If it doesn't, you can always purchase a private reading from me. Um, I will leave my email at the bottom of the video and uh, you can go ahead and email me. I usually get back to you within 24 hours and my reading turnaround time is about five days. I like to keep it at 48 hours if I can, uh, but five days is the very max, okay? All right, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out again, okay? A little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient and clairvoyant, so I can pick up people's energies, feel their energies. Doing relationship readings are where I shine and I do my best work. I can pick up people's energies uh, really easily. I'm usually about 90% on when it comes to uh, reading people's energy. I can I can pick up energies from you, your partner, uh, feeling where it's going to go, what's going to happen, that sort of a thing, and why things are the way they are. All right, what are the messages for Aries for the month of February? Aries for the month of February. What are the messages for Aries for February? Okay, we have judgment. Aries for the month of February. All right. A couple fell to the ground. Messages for Aries for the month of February. There's the Knight of Swords. Aries for the month of February. Aries for the month of February. What are the messages for Aries for the month of February? Six of Cups. Aries for the month of February. Ten of Swords. Aries for the month of February, Three of Swords, Aries for the month of February, what are the messages for Aries for the month of February? Queen of Cups, Aries for the month of February, what are the messages for Aries for the month of Four of Swords. Okay, so the very first card here is the card that is the forces between the two of you, good or bad. It is the Judgment card. Uh, that card speaks about um, the past. This talks about second chances, memories, it's awakening. It appears in a reading when you are on the brink of change. And with it comes memories of the dream, of memories of... Uh, and dreams of the past and this is about people reappearing in your life and you deciding to give a situation a second chance so this month could be about second chances somebody coming back into your life working on a relationship that sort of a thing so if you're waiting for somebody to come back into your life this card is saying that there's that chance here okay then we have the knight of swords and the knight of swords is what you want this card talks about drama, conflict, stress, change. This card talks about uh, sudden drama, conflict, often reveals relationship stress, discord, or other challenges. What do you want? You want to get over this. Looks like there was some sort of a drama that went on and that you're wanting to get over this 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 stress and conflict okay what do they want here's the six of cups so the six of cups is about reunions again they want they want perhaps what you want that you that reunion six of cups talks about um nostalgia reunions harmony they want harmony 
and this is about offering friendship and affection this is what they're wanting they want to offer this they know there's some sort of a drama went on this is the energy between the two of you that you that reuniting and giving second chances this is what they want as well all right this card is saying they want to reunite with you because they remember the good times that the two of you guys had this is about nostalgia thinking about the friendship thinking about how things used to be and sometimes this card is about you rem the remembering the earlier times and bringing that to uh the present and remembering those things okay okay so then we have what you need all right you need to get over this the ten of swords talks about endings finality Stop thinking like this. You're coming to an end of this worry. So this is about a bond being broken. And it's a card of endings. And it's about being shocked and confused. And with hindsight, you will see that this situation has been building for some time. And the upside to this card is that all of the surrounding tension has disappeared, making a way for you to move up. So you need to you need to get past this. And this card is saying you are getting past this. Something serious has happened here because now what they need to get over. We have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Three of Swords is about pain, suffering, sorrow. They're in pain. They're in suffering and sorrow as well. All right. It's about wanting to see where they stand. And it's about uh, intense stress and need, and sorry, intense stress and the need to strike at the heart of a problem. They want to figure this out with you. Both of you guys are going through some sort of a pain that you want to get over. Something has happened here, okay? But this card is saying you have that second chance. Now, how you see them? We have the Queen of Cups. So because this is a general reading, it could be male or female. This is just the general energy. You see them as being someone who's healing and supporting and nurturing. And you know that they are good in your life. Okay? You could be the one that's backing off here because you saw the, dra the, the stress, the drama. You need to get over that. Perhaps they caused it. And you're the one backing off because this card is of the Four of Swords. This is, they see you as being someone who's just kind of retreated and but they do see a renewal here it is about solitude recovery but these three cards are saying that there is some sort of a renewal here there is um some sort of uh uh second chance between the two of you okay you need to you need to get over this and this is saying that it is you are getting past this you're both hurting this card, these two cards in the same position is saying that. Okay. All right. I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What is the message for Aries for the month of February? Aries for the month of February. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. How fitting is that? Forgiving and learning. All right. We've got here the drama and we need to get past it, forgive and to learn from it. Okay. All right. There you go. That is your reading for all of you Aries out there for the month of February. I really hope that this reading helps you. Again, if you'd like to purchase a reading, email me and I will send you an email um, explaining how to purchase a reading. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing commenting. I truly appreciate it and I hope you have a great month of February. Bye-bye.